Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you this really awesome thing that I just figured out, which will save everybody that has iTunes, like over 500 songs or so, and they have many duplicates. This will save so much time deleting all these duplicates. As you can see, I have eight of the same song, or not eight, but yeah, six, because that's a different name of the song. Six of the same song here, and if I go here and click on Show Duplicates, I have 5,600 duplicates. So, right now, guys, I'm going to show you this awesome I way to delete all your duplicates without downloading any programs. Um, a lot of people always download programs because they think that's one of the easiest ways, but I'm going to save you a lot of money here. All you do, if you're on a Mac, you can use the command key instead of the shift on what I'm showing you. When you're about to click display duplicates, hold down the shift button and then click display duplicates. As you see earlier, I had 5,000 down here. Once it pops up, it may take a little while if you have a big uh, iTunes library. But let's see what happens. So now. 2,700. So this only selects the actual duplicates and leaves one of them. Um, I don't know how they choose which one they leave, but so far, guys, this looks like it's going to work great. So now you can just click Control A and then click Delete, and it will delete all your duplicates, and it'll save you so much much time. It'll save you your money. And this is a quick, like, little tweak. I have no idea what you call it, but, <laughs> uh, guys, hope you like this. If you do, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Well, not rate anymore, like, whatever. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps you out a lot, and I'll catch you later.